our packing paper is really <laughs> a really cheap option um, so I'm just like drawing some concepts uh, similar concepts that you've probably seen in another video uh, a video titled drawing on packing paper this is more in line with them but I just wanted to draw a couple more examples draw and paint some ideas um, in black and white and really you know just create something um, really quickly a lot quicker than normal drawings and yeah so what I'm doing is I'm just adding the link you know the ink on this drawing you know it's going to like be like a skull <laughs> yeah some type of skull with tentacles type thing yeah what I always draw and it's best to draw the the basic outline with ink pen and some of the details but some of them details will just like fill in over time um, when I add the, like the black and the white but the the tone of the paper is um, the best thing because it's like a a different tone than like normal white paper or something like that it's almost like the uh, the Strathmore toned paper um, not as good quality but just um, really cheap um, types of paper in fact I need to buy some more like uh, uh, I can buy like rolls of it at uh, my local pound store uh, which is the equivalent of a dollar store if you're in America or you know but I, you can find it really uh, inexpensive and just a cheap paper just to draw concepts on and, and paint ideas that you want um, so I'm still drawing the outlines of these concepts I always draw these you know this type of stuff but I really like uh, drawing uh, these like demonic this is more, more like a vampire skull with like tentacles um, maybe add some more tentacles there really vary up the way the tentacles are just appearing sort of thing but as long as you've got some kind of ink sketch just to work with and paint over I first did this um, technique it went on camera um, I just experimented um, just like saw the packing paper and I thought oh, I'll buy a roll of that and um, maybe just like draw some stuff on um, I think at least I think that's what happened or I just um, I probably had some packing paper thinking I'd use it to post some stuff but um, then I just decided to just, uh, you know draw on it and uh, create some ideas so I'm using some paint uh, black acrylic paint I've thinned it down slightly um, a little bit just to make it a bit more fluid how I want and just going around them eyes and like the nose socket there and it's just about layering it on and, and just seeing how it'll sort of come together usually I, I add like the dark areas first and and then I had like the white highlights and things like that um, it can be a little messy as you go along um, I'm not really accurate with the you know the brush um, I'd rather leave it more sketchy much like I do with the ink pens if I was going to do that um, as a drawing on this video but here I'm just going for all the shadowed areas that I'm painting uh, with black paint So I'm going like underneath areas like I would with ink pens. So on underneath like there's like a thicker sort of shadow and any sorts of areas where the shadows would sort of fall. Sometimes I just add like dark areas uh, just for the sake of it. <laughs> carried away sometimes with these concept sketches 
but I'd really recommend uh, using like packing paper um, you know because you could do the sketches and you could like roll them up and you know keep the sketches in like tubes or something um, which is really good um, because what, what you don't want to do is have like um, you know just these uh, concept paint sketches just lying around uh, just on a desk um, much like I, I have at the moment <laughs> I need to like sort them out and roll, roll them up and put them in tubes or something um, and just like mark out what they are here I'm adding like the, the white paint over the top um, trying to trying to leave the, the dark areas uh, but I'll, I'll sometimes go over some of the darker areas just to add some highlights and see see if I could um, match against some of that darkness it's just more of an experimentation really um, the, f the fun is just doing these concepts and really seeing how they you know, turn out on the paper and um, just creating something cool really if it, if it didn't work out at least you've you've tried at least you've had fun <laughs> doing these concept paintings and um, yeah so you've got something to show really um, if you're working towards some type of style of uh, creating these artworks I think if some of that black area is still wet it it um, helps and just like blends a little bit and turns some of that white grey so you know just experiment more with the application of the paint that's what I do it's always nice seeing a, a drawing just come together yeah, just simply adding white paint just creates a nice like, concept that I'm really, I'm really happy with especially on this type of uh, paper surface it's really thin but it seems to take the paint well um, it doesn't really go through um, the other side so I think it's because it's got some you know, kind of cut into it I think um, it's um, sort of like the old I'm sure there used to be like a, a gummed sort of paper um, where you um, add some kind of um, sheen to it or something like that um, it's something similar to the old style uh, packing paper um, if you've been around as um, long as I have um, I'm in my forties now so um, I'm just thinking back uh, the type of paper or packing paper that they used to be and um, it's sort of similar anyway I won't, won't go into detail of uh, different styles of packing paper because uh, that sounds a bit boring um, <laughs> anyway so like I'm highlighting like the teeth there uh, uh, just bringing them out uh, really is a, an effective concept building technique this I know you can't see right at the top because the light is shining as I did this on the night um, I'm sure you I'm sure I'll show the, the final product right at the end. It's only like the top of, of the skull. I did a similar one to this um, in a time lapse video, I think, as well. Um, some some months back, I think. But it always helps just to add, um, you know, these white highlights over the top and. If you had more time, um, then you could just you know go in and maybe add more dark areas with paint. So here I am, like trying to add like um, thin ink details and just like separate some areas in between. And it's a good idea just to go over the top of the teeth and just add more detail over the top. These concept painting you know paint sketches they sort of rely on uh, going over in layers um, so and that's something that you probably have to have more patience with and um, that's that's something that I never had um, early on in my sort of art journey 
it's it's about seeing these drawings come together and um, sometimes it's about not overworking a piece but more um, adding layers of paint and maybe like colour washes and things if you had more time um, but this this is for, forms the, the bare bones of a concept really and, um, it's not the sketchy nature it just just provides a nice concept that you could redraw again if you know you had more time and, and that's probably what I would do uh, I'd probably do more colour washes and try and mix more of the uh, the black and the white to make greys and yeah, things like that Some of these inclines that I'm adding, um, I don't know if that they add something to it, but in between um, the thicker lines, you know, that you've painted and stuff like that, it helps separate things and um, just adds detail to it. And, and that's sometimes that's all you can do with these drawings, uh, these concept sketches that really. Um, form a really good idea um, I suppose I could like um, trim these up a bit more and because um, sometimes I'll just like rip the paper out and uh, things like that and I suppose you could frame some of them if they if they're any good um, but if they're, if they're not and you just want to look at look at the concepts from time to time then you could just put them in a cardboard tube and you know roll them up still adding more detail as always with these drawings lots of lines just to help um, you know these tentacles and stuff like that um, I should have added a bit more shadow under that bottom of that tongue just to separate uh, that area from them teeth and the jaw you know the lower jaw but it's you know it still works as a concept quite like the you know the way these drawings are created and you know the way they come together it, it's sort of like um, it's it's just happy drawing these I don't know it's enjoyable drawing these really fun I like him anyway I have got um, I think I've got a Strathmore um, drawing pad which has got like toned paper I think that's more useful it's, a, it's, a, it's sort of similar to the you know the packing paper but it's proper drawing paper so um, and then you can draw really cool um, like you know designs and um, I think the the tone of the paper is, is sort of like a really good tone just to match like skin tone like a, a mid tone that you can just build on you know when you're doing the sketches and the drawings and things like that um, you can draw really good portraits I reckon even though portraits aren't my thing but um, I think if you're drawing any characters like you know with skin tone and things like that you can really build on that with you know markers and coloured pencils and paints and things like that um, but for now black and white is really a good starting point um, from there you can build on that and um, add more to it. This ink pen that I'm using, it's like a gel ink pen. Um, it's not too good when you add like water over it if you're doing like watercolor or painting uh, involving like thin down paints and stuff. Cause you know the pen's sort of like um, it's a cheap pen really, but I'm, I still like using the cheap pens just to ink and you know particularly if I'm just doing like black and white ink work and stuff that I'm just going to scan into the computer and 
uh, things like that. But if you're, you're doing drawings that you uh, want to keep long term or you know that's going to last, I'd recommend you use uh, better ink pens. Um, you know, with like that arch archive quality. So there's the top of. <laughs> oh, <laughs> and then the paper rolls back. I did try and fold it this, uh, you know. Um, but you can tape it down, but I just had to move the, you know, the paper just to get a good look at it um, away from that light at the top. It's just about filling in that, all that area with white, or most of the area. White paint. I think it's called titanium white. Yeah, it is. Um, really good white. Just added the paint, I ain't thinned it down with water or anything because that'll just uh, probably soak through the paper. So like I said you could do this in layers if you wanted to and uh, let, let the paint dry and then go back over it, mix some black and white you see I'm like adding like some highlight areas that might work, that might not. You just have to experiment and see if it works. And if it doesn't then, well, let it dry and then paint back over it. But I'm using a way to sort of thick uh, paint brush. I think you've got to use like a, a variety of different paint brushes just to create these drawings and things so there's the final concept it's it's not as finished as, as I'd like but it's still a really good idea and concept um, quite nice so on to the second one now um, Still like drawing <laughs> lots of tentacles and stuff like that, and uh, you know, different ideas um, or ways of presenting the same idea. Um, I know it's um, considered uh, like a bit mad just to draw the same thing over and over again, but I'm not really drawing the same thing over and over again. I'm just drawing it in different ways and. You know, in that way you can create different variations of like the same idea, and you know sometimes they're really good to you know look, look back on. So I'm using that really cheap ink pen. It's a gel ink, which um, sometimes can clog, um, but it's been fine for now. And I'm just drawing like the basic elements like the tentacles and things like that that just appear out of the skull and one out the eye there that's, that's quite nice you can see the basic shape and a really good really good uh, sort of quick designs that you can create zoomed in a bit slightly there but and see the tentacles appears off the page and yeah just adding a bit of detail quick sketch you like again if you had more time with these you could really You know, amp up the detail and they really figure things out. Um, but I was sort of like running against the clock with these, <laughs> um, as always. Like skull like eyes there, shadows, or maybe one eye, but then you know, the tentacles coming out the other. Um, just aim for getting all the dark areas uh, down and 
so you don't worry if it's uh, too heavy handed with the with the darks you can always paint over it later um, you know brighten everything it's it's an evolutionary process you know you as you go along the progress and stuff um, is it's just a it's just an exploration of uh, how you're laying the layering these yeah, paints and different techniques like with the ink pen and things like that but as I said if you had more time you could do more layers of stuff and, and really make everything pop more but even working like quick like this is, is just fine it's fine I'm really going for them shadowed areas underneath uh, these tentacles just to bring them out a bit more and then when you add like the white over the top it just makes it pop a bit more I mean you could paint these in um, instead of drawing in with an ink pen uh, you know with black it's entirely up to you you know the way you want to work it's um, you know what works for me um, might not work for you so you might want to do things in a different way um, to me and um, that's what art is really it's just there's no set way of working there's you know like I could work you know the way I do and then you could just do something completely different and it'll still work out it's it's how you're you know sort of comfortable with creating the artwork um, this is just a video just to show you what what's possible um, and hopefully I found this um, any good just to I don't know, just, just to inspire you to paint or something paint something um, because like when I was a kid there was never anything like this um, YouTube didn't exist the internet didn't exist and um, all that I re relied on was you know, like books and things like that um, which which was good as far as uh, things go but um, I would have liked something like YouTube just to you know show uh, videos of artists working and things like that um, yeah, it would, I believe it would have helped me a bit more um, so yeah that's that's why I'm doing these videos um, you know not really specific um, how to you know paint type or how to draw type videos um, as I'm not really a teacher but I'm, I'm trying to show my process so hopefully it's useful anyway um, as you can see I'm just uh, still messing around with a bit of the, the black paint trying to find and add more detail just to build off uh, maybe, maybe with ink pens later on uh, I think if I was to do these again I'd, I'd really focus more on uh, like, like the layers that I said and maybe some colour washes over the top and just really try and make it um, something more uh, worked on you know like like a proper painting and something like that I don't know so I'm adding like the white areas now I'm just going in and these white areas really help um, make the black areas stand out as well yeah, and it's good contrast between the two two colours that's why I'd recommend doing black and white at first on these and just create some concept drawings it really is an effective way of working <laughs> coming up with ideas uh, I've done previous uh, there was a bit of a nice little blend there with the white and the black I've done like previous um, sort of um, paint sketches where I, I paint sketch a shape and then I ink over the top. That's also a good way, you know, way, way of working. Um, creating the 
uh, the shape of like a creature or something like that with maybe like grey drawing ink and then inking black over the top and trying to make something of them sort of shapes and things like that that's also a good way of working um, I'll probably be doing more of that um, more videos of that type of technique because I quite like that one as well um, but I just wanted to show what's possible with just drawing on really cheap packing paper so yeah I suppose the next sort of thing I probably would do is a, a more of a detailed a concept drawing um, this this shows you what's possible with really quick ways of applying the you know the paint and the ink but I suppose next time I probably would um, add more layers So I don't know if you're following me on uh, Instagram and Facebook or anything like that. Um, I'd like to see what you come up with. Um, if if you want to share, it's entirely up to you. Um, it's really good just to try different ways of working because uh, you might find a way of working that helps helps to add to your um, concept creating sort of ways really and it could be just fun just to see you know what you're working on so if you want to show us and you know tag us on you know instagram or facebook and just you know show what you've been working on uh, based on you know this this video and if it's helped you i don't know just let us know in the comments and because I'll, I'll definitely be doing more of these types of ones you know these videos it's really useful I think to create uh, concepts this way I mean like quick concepts as I've said before many times you know that quick drawings and things like that could form the basis of a a well thought out illustration or something you could uh, you could paint one of these quick sketches and then sometimes with me like months months later down the line I, I look back at it and I think oh yeah I could I could create something more off that um, like a, a more detailed drawing or just a, a more well thought out drawing really and um, so that's why it's good just to keep every drawing that you do because um, you know as, as you progress and, and you get better at uh, creating these type of works you can you can get inspired to redraw something um, and make it better later on down the line it's um, it really is a good good way of working uh, and, and it's good to see like um, your art progress as you go along um, so keep everything that you do you know draw and, uh, really just have fun with it really Here I decided to add um, a bit of a dark bit at the back um, just to try and help the, the skull stand out a little bit more um, and show like the whiteness of the skull a little bit more. In hindsight it, it almost looked like looked like I was adding hair <laughs> um, to it but um, I suppose it worked. <laughs> I think you just have to paint it in a non hairy way <laughs> I don't know something like that and maybe just fill in some shadows here and there just to help the rest stand out just about experimenting really separating areas I think you already established it didn't have like a lower draw this demonic skull it's um so that helps so I couldn't really get the, the lower jaw in there really so it's 
Maybe away. I just did some darker areas. And that's another good thing, just adding like black can really uh, separate things from from the rest of the drawing. Really, it's, it brings it out more, especially like when you're painting black and white. Makes it pop a little bit more. So definitely experiment um, with the black and white contrasts. So I don't know if you'd like to see uh, more of these uh, drawings, but I've definitely got some more videos planned uh, which explore the the ways of creating um, cool concepts and you know creature concepts and other stuff because um, that's that's what I like to draw. So I'll be drawing that type of stuff um, for quite some time. I'd like to get into drawing some more tattoo type work, um, designs and things like that. So you'll probably see some more of that. Um, I'm just zoomed in now, I'm doing the ink pen thing, just adding detail. I always seem to start with that area just above the teeth. And just really helps separate them, them areas. And are really really cheap I'm sort of a cheap artist really sometimes <laughs> using these cheap ink pens and cheap packing paper but I suppose whatever you've got to hand it's uh, it's still just as good as anything else there's a lot of hatching that I do which you can barely see like close up really but it really does add, add like a nice effective sort of like incline to the you know areas and stuff like that um, so what I always do is I go to you know the the shadowed areas that I've added like the black and then I try and extend that by adding like details around it and um, extra shadow um, because they say like the the hatching is it, it makes like a gradient on the um, you know the shadows and things like that and it just extends the you know the details and the shadow bits so that's that's why I always end up doing extra ink work around the darker areas and things like that so it really helps but like I said if you could do more layers and you'll really create an illustration that pops and stuff like that but for the purposes purposes of this video and um, I've just decided just to make you know keep it sketchy and just it's still a, a valid concept drawing um, still something that um, I'd like to see develop this technique and and you know see what else I can create from this um, I have thought about um, some type of undead creatures maybe like uh, climbing out of coffins or something um, that would be more like a, a layered sort of drawing and a well thought out illustration maybe um, something to work towards because no, um, I've, I've drawn these type of things Quite a lot. Um, I never get bored of drawing these type of things, but I think maybe if I started drawing other stuff that you know maybe is more detailed and uh, draw some like zombie creatures, but with like really good facial expressions and th you know things like that, I think it'll really make uh, some of the drawings uh, look quite unique and like cool looking. And if I could integrate some kind of perspective within that drawing, I suppose them drawings will look even better. 
um, you never know, it's just, it's just working on trying to grasp the, the techniques of drawing. And there's still stuff that I need to learn. Um, you know, but I've, for now I've been like, my drawing, drawings have been like, gravitated towards like horror, skulls, demons, zombies and, you know, dark stuff. Um, but I would like to draw other stuff. Um, you know, maybe, um, I don't know, like, women warriors and stuff I think that's one of the main areas that I need to learn to draw is like um, effective looking women and uh, even men characters I think I need to work on um, observational drawing and uh, figure drawings a lot more and then I'd probably draw more of that type of stuff and try and incorporate them into my drawings and stuff like that you know, cause even though some of these drawings like they look more improved than I used to draw when I first started on here, yeah, there's still stuff that I, I really need to learn. Um, so there's, you know, every every uh, sort of like day is a, is a learning sort of curve with with artwork. Um, you, you just build on your, you know, like the way you learn. So. I really need to figure out and drawing vehicles and stuff off the top of my head that'll be that'll be cool to figure out. So yeah, just uh, yeah, have fun with these. You know, it, drawing should be about having fun, uh, especially in these times where things are a bit a bit depressing with the the way the world is and the way the world's going at the moment. So. If you can entertain yourself by, you know, creating drawings that you're happy with, then that's a little something, you know, towards um, making you happy, I suppose. It makes me happy. Um, that and my family, <laughs> you know. Um, so it's, yeah. <laughs> I love drawing, but I love my family as well. They mean a lot to me. And... You just have to, I don't know, get through this time um, with all this, um, I want to mention what's going on because it's just too depressing to talk about but um, in a time like this, 2020, I thought it would be a good year but oh. So there's the final drawing, hope you like this video, cheers now. <laughs>